Hey Ken here, Old Man Rider. Another day up at the antenna. Came up this time by way of the village. A lot uh, slower ride, a lot calmer ride, a lot quieter ride. Really kind of nice. T today's topic is uh, wheel sets. I really got interested in this uh, when I crashed the bike and I bent up my front wheel. Had to get a new wheel set. And out here in Thailand, when you need a wheel, you need a wheel set. You can't just buy one. So I ended up with a uh, front and a back even though I only needed a front. The new wheel set is a DT Swiss R28 set. Really nice. They have a lot more spokes than uh, the Shimano stock wheels, but they roll a lot faster. The uh, extra speed, about three kilometers an hour, just by the way they roll. I can't complain about these wheels at all. But what intrigues me is something that uh, I started reading about that is called the torsional stiffness of the wheels. I've read a lot about this because you know, you're doing the research, getting you know the right piece of equipment that you want to get, and you, you just try to learn what you can learn. And what I read from the internet, from the pros, from the guys that have the equipment to test, is that there's three kind of stiffnesses for a tire. There's the lateral stiffness, would be the stiffness side to side. There's a radial stiffness, which is kind of the up and down towards the hub. And then there's the torsional stiffness, which is the twisting stiffness. Well, I'm not a rider that does really you know, turns and high performance maneuver, so the lateral stiffness doesn't really matter to me. And the radial stiffness on the wheel set seems to be the same. I feel the road vibrations and the bumps. As far as I can tell, there's no difference between the stock Shimano set and the DT Swiss set. But the torsional stiffness, I'm convinced there's a difference. The engineers and pros who write about performance parts talk about the uh, torsional stiffness and say there's very little difference between wheels. Uh, good, bad, high end, low end, whatever, and there's hardly any way to perceive the difference in the torsional stiffness. Now, like I say, radial stiffness, I think they're the same on both. The lateral stiffness, I don't push the bike, so I really wouldn't know, but I'm convinced that I'm feeling a torsional stiffness difference between the stock Shimano wheel set and the DT Swiss wheel set. So why do I say I can tell the difference? Well, because I'm convinced I feel the pulse of me pedaling translating into forward motion or, or energy or whatever the right word may be when I'm riding the DT Swiss wheel set more than I did with the Shimano wheel set. Now it's a pretty subtle difference and I don't want to make up something that is not real but I'm just convinced of it and it really puts my engineering mind into a little bit of a tizzy when I read all of the experts with the tools that can actually measure it say I shouldn't be feeling it but I'm convinced I am feeling it. So what does that mean? Now it could be like love and happiness where you know if you can't measure it it doesn't exist or I could be you know kind of the emperor's new clothes thing and just have convinced myself that something is true that really isn't or there's something that doesn't come across quite as clearly or with lack of subtlety or whatever the right way to say it is when you're measuring torsional stiffness with real products. Obviously the Shimano wheel set wasn't bad and the wheel didn't twist off or anything like that and you didn't pedal and not have any forward motion, but there's an edginess, a sharpness, a, a direct transferness that I feel is really different. So I put it out to people who watch these kind of videos. What am I feeling? What is this difference that, that I'm pretty sure that I can describe in poor English words, but I'm pretty sure I can feel, that I'm pretty sure that the folks who have the tools to measure say shouldn't be there, or at least we're not talking about the same thing. Anyway, I've got to head to work. It's been bugging me these last few days. I thought I'd make a video about it and ask some other people who know. This is Ken from Old Man Rider. i got to sign off, head back to work. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, take a look at these other videos. i got to run. I'll see you later.